What is going on everybody? Welcome to my new video. A couple weeks ago, I, you know, gave you guys the rundown on my home gym. Well, today, we're gonna go back to that. We're gonna actually review it after probably working out with it for a month or two now. Uh, we're gonna review, you know, the good things, the bad things. Uh, it'll be a fun time, so buckle up, because let's get started. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what I'm missing in my home gym. What do you want to see me add next? All right, there's definitely a few things that I didn't like about the, uh, that I still don't like about my gym, I should say. It's not the greatest setup. I've learned that now. Um, trial and error, but you know, the great thing, the, the amazing thing that I absolutely love about home gyms is that you know, you, it's like a puzzle. You get to put piece together exactly what you want for your workouts. It's not like, you know, a cut and dry cookie cutter thing. Um, you know, if you want a bench press, you throw a bench press in there. If you want a squat rack, a full rack, a half rack, you know, you can throw that in there. That's, that's, that's so awesome. Uh, so guys, I, I'm still building my home gym. It is nowhere near complete. Um, as in, you know, when I get more money, I will invest more into it as long as I have the room and space. <laughs> so this is my home gym. You know, I got six squares of a mat, squat stand, bench, another bench has a leg extensions and leg curls with a standard squat bar and standard weight, uh, a rogue Olympic bar with Olympic weight that I can add up to 360 pounds in total with the bar on it. Smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, thanks. My number one addition to my home gym since my last video is my mirror. Uh, I can, you know, look at my gains. Uh, I really got it to check my form and make sure that, you know, I'm doing things correctly, correctly that the bar's not crooked and stuff like that. Um, you know, but if I, if I stand up, you know, you cannot see my face. So, you know, I could take those pictures that you don't want to see your face with. If you got that joke, you uh, need to go to church. Moving on from my very bad humor, let's uh, get down on the ground here. Um, this is my bench, right? My trusty dusty bench that, you know, I got for $50. Uh, more of that in my last video, which will be linked in the description down below. Um, it is really short and I have short arms. <laughs> so when I try to put the bar on the locks and bench press off of it. I am too short. My arms are too short. That is, you know, one thing that in retrospect, I should have thought about while getting just a squat stand to do everything with. Um, so I take some weight and I put it down below on the bottom of these to elevate it enough. And I take some weight, put it on the sides so I can elevate my feet. Um, I use the standard weight for that. The stuff that doesn't fit onto the Olympic bar so I don't run out of weight for my actual bench pressing. Uh, that is definitely something you're gonna wanna look into if you're gonna, if you're still building a gym, a home gym. Uh, because it is so cookie cutter, I chose not to get that full rack or half rack. It's too expensive. I'm a college kid, come on. So I got the squat stand, I gotta deal with it, but um, it it's a struggle to bench press. Uh, I'm finally getting used to it, of course, but it, it's definitely a struggle. I also got that new bar in, finally, that I mentioned in the original video. Um, elevated my game so much. The floor. I am laying on it. I just cleaned it, so I know it's clean. Um, originally, I thought the floor would, um, you know, leave indentations when I deadlift and stuff. You know, like it wouldn't press back out once it impressed itself in, um, imprinted itself in. And I haven't really noticed that. I have, um, you know, I, I see some lines, which I'll show you guys, but it's not bad at all. It comes back out. I bought these mats at Walmart for, you know, super cheap. You know, you didn't, I didn't need to go on Amazon. I didn't need to go to like the tractor supply store or the farmer supply store, wherever people try to get you to buy their mats from. Um, this stuff, it, it works, you know, I double it up. So, you know, I put three and three, I make it one full line. So then, um, you know, it has extra padding so it doesn't damage the floor, which it hasn't, which is very good. And it stood the test of time. So 
uh, don't get expensive flooring. You can just get the, you know, the easy foam flooring from Walmart. The biggest thing that I miss that I don't have in the gym is dumbbells. I don't miss machines that much. I never really used machines, maybe at the, you know, the very, very end of my workouts and stuff, um, or to warm up, but dumbbells, dumbbell bench press, you know, goblet squat, stuff like that. And I have been preaching that you can use, I'll use the five pound weight for this, that you can use the handle of it and do everything just fine. Well, let me tell you, that doesn't hit it as good as dumbbells. Dumbbells are just expensive. If you get the adjustable dumbbells, they save a lot of time, space, and room. Um, I chose to go with the barbell, of course, but Dumbbells are a really good option that in retrospect, I would like if I had more money to, you know, build my gym out more, I would. So uh, I, the next thing I would get would be dumbbells. I, I'm getting my main three lifts in my squat, my deadlift and my bench. I'm getting those in, which is awesome. But now I want the pump. I want the hypertrophy work with it. So that's where, you know, I'm lacking. That's where my personal puzzle of my home gym is lacking. One thing that I'm living without that I actually really want is a weight tree. I am tired of my weight sitting on the floor. It bothers the hell out of me that all my weight sits on the floor. I'd rather have a rack to hold the weight. And yes, in retrospect, that'd be another thing I'd spend my money on. I would have to buy a better bench to like do incline work with because this one slips and slides and doesn't work very well. But what it does do well is for leg extension and leg curls, those hypertrophy things that I don't have enough of, this little bench that was super cheap comes clutch. In my last video, I showed you guys me how to squat 305 for two reps. Well, later this week, I'm going for 310 or 325. I wanted 315, but um, I don't have uh, like the right numbers of weight necessarily. So I'm uh, going for 310 or 325 later this week. Um, so without further ado than that, I hit a nice leg workout. <laughs> yeah, I've been hitting legs twice a week, tree trunk 2020, it has been paying off. Um, lots and lots of reps, lots and lots of volume. Enjoy. very happy with my home gym you know there's definitely things I can complain about every single day but overall I get good workouts every single day and I walk upstairs after after every workout happy and glad that I you know invested in my home gym so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to link back up from my last one you know to, to let you guys know that I do enjoy this you know this gym that I've built myself um, it's worth it. Um, you know, there are negatives, but there's definitely a lot of positives and the positives outweigh the negatives. This is awesome. You know, I've built something that I could be proud of that I could work out in every single day. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it'll be me hitting 315 pounds on squat.